Much to his dad and mum's dismay, Horace ate himself one day. He didn't stop to say his grace. He just sat down and ate his face. We can't have this, his dad declared. If that lad's ate, he should be shared. But even as he spoke, they saw Horace eating more and more. First his legs, and then his thighs, his arms, his nose, his hair, his eyes. Stop him, someone, mother cried. Those eyeballs would be better fried. But all too late, for they were gone. And he had started on his dong. Oh, foolish child, the father mourned. You could have deep-fried those with prawns, some parsley, and some tartar sauce. But H was on his second course. His liver and his lights and lung, his ears, his neck, his chin, his tongue. To think I raised him from the cot, and now he's gone to scoff the lot. His mother cried, what shall we do? What's left won't even make a stew. And as she wept, her son was seen to eat his head, his heart, his spleen. And there he lay, a boy no more, just a stomach on the floor. Nonetheless, since it was his, they ate it. And that's what haggis is.